Hello everyone, I am Muhammad Manzoor Ahmed and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Basically, I am a teacher. I need to introduce myself. So, here are a few lines about me. I am a teacher since 2000. So, by 2013, I got 13 years of experience in teaching. I am also a developer, come trainer since 2005. So I got around 8 plus years of development experience. I'm also a Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist, especially on web app development, starting from 2.0, 3.0, 3.5, and 4.0, 4.5. I'm also a Microsoft Certified Professional Developer, as well as Microsoft Certified Trainer. Currently, I'm working as a team lead on Microsoft.NET Technologies. I'm also founder of www.manzoorthetrainer.com where you can find ample of free video tutorials, especially on ASP.NET web application development, starting from Microsoft SQL Server database, .NET framework introduction, then all the C Sharp Oops concept videos, as well as ASP.NET videos and ADO.NET data access technology and I have also started uploading videos on entity framework and MVC so you can find around 80 plus hours of free training at www.mandurthetrainer.com so you can join me to learn any stuff which is basically a real time and practical and my way of teaching is very simple and straightforward and I go to this level of student and teach to them. In this course, you will learn with me how to develop a web portal or any web portal. So for our course, we have chosen workshop management portal. Now what is workshop management portal? This is a portal for an organization who can declare or announce a workshop. And for those announcements, any student can enroll for it by sending a request now this request will go to the admin who has announced the workshop it is in the hands of admin whether to approve it or reject it once admin approves it then the student will get the password to this portal and after attending the workshop student can log in and download the materials of the workshop which has been uploaded by the admin so anyway don't worry uh, let's look into the process practically you'll understand the flow and by the end of this course you'll be in a position to develop this or this kind of any web app from the scratch you'll be in a position to design the database write data access layer business logic layer and presentation layer that the ui with the help of asp.net web form and all these things we are going to develop in a three tier architecture so I have an admin login that is Jack. Jack can login. And you can see that it says loading. So that feature is an Ajax feature. We will also see how to Ajaxify your app. You won't see a page load. I'll just go back. I'll say log out. Say check. I'll give some wrong password. Now you can see that this will never get disturbed. I have updated only this part. Now, once I'm logged in, I have this admins dashboard. I can go and create a trainer. Say I want to create a trainer, Robert B. I'll say B dot Robert at gmail.com. Once I create this trainer, I should see the trainer in the trainers list. So trainer got created. I'll go to the workshop page. Once I created the trainer, the trainer should be available in this list. So I have created Robert. Now I'm going to create a workshop on the topic MVC5. And the date of the workshop say 12 12 2013 and duration of the workshop say 5 hours and i'm going to teach them new features of mvc5 
and I can assign the trainers. So for this workshop, there are two trainers who are going to deliver the training. One is Manzur and another is Peter. Now say save. Now you can find that workshop over here, MVC5. Now once the workshop is created, I'll just log out. Any guest to this portal, they can click on this link. Enroll here for upcoming workshops. I should be in a position to see the latest created workshop. Let's say select. Now they need to write their email address. Say Kitty wanna attend the workshop. I'll say submit. You can see that there is a validation. Please enter an email address. This is the latest feature of ASP.4.0, which is utilizing HTML5. We will see even these things in our course. So I'll say kitty at gmail.com you can see that it says send a request with your email address for attending the workshop as a submit should see a message saying that registration successful I'll just go back to home after registration now once an admin login admin should see kitty in their student list and admin should be in a position to approve or reject kitty now if i click on student you can see kitty in student list now approval process is there where admin can select a particular student and say approve once admin says approve a mail will be generated to kitty with the password to this portal so that kitty can log in and download the material from this portal i'll also select tom and i'll say approve now i'll go to the material and admin can select mvc5 and browse the material for this workshop say which is in zip format mvc say save now you can see that now this should get reflected to tom as well as kitty let me log out and log in with tom as tom is also a student and kitty as well it says loading go to the material now tom has access to all the materials tom can download the material material got downloaded so join me and take this course. Thank you very much.